If you're a fan of this channel, you should be familiar with the cycles of the four-stroke aeroplane piston engine. Let's recap. In the intake cycle, the fuel-air mixture is drawn into the cylinder through the open intake valve. The compression cycle increases the pressure of the fuel-air mixture as both valves close. The power cycle pushes the piston down through the rapidly increasing pressure of the burning fuel-air mixture. In the exhaust cycle, the burnt gases are forced out of the cylinder through the open exhaust valve. Every aeroplane piston engine type has its own specific auto cycle that is carefully designed to generate optimum power. Let's have a look at an example here. The intake valve opens early, before the induction cycle begins. This helps draw in extra fuel-air mixture. The intake valve closes after the induction cycle ends. Again, this allows maximum time for the intake of the fuel-air mixture to occur. The spark fires just before the power cycle begins to allow the fuel-air mixture time to fully burn through in preparation for the rapid expansion in the power cycle. The exhaust valve opens before the exhaust cycle begins. The pressure is still high in the cylinder, so the burnt gases escape. This means that the piston has less work to do pushing out the gases. The intake valve opens early again, while the exhaust valve is still open. The exhaust valve closes, and so on. The ignition timing is measured in degrees, before or after, top dead centre and bottom dead centre. These measurements are specific to each engine type. Valve lead is when the intake valve opens before top dead centre. An exhaust valve opens before bottom dead centre. Valve lag is when the intake valve closes after bottom dead centre. An exhaust valve closes after top dead centre. The brief period when both valves are open together is called the valve overlap.